Hi, my name's Luke King. Um, currently racing the Toyota 86 Racing Series. He's got to worry about Luke King. Who... So Luke King in the mix. Great job from Luke King. Here. Luke King's going to pounce on him right here. Luke was playing rugby league up until he was about the age of 12. And he decided that he didn't want to do that anymore. He wanted to go go-kart racing. And I was like, hmm. I never thought it would lead to this though. He wanted, he actually wanted to be a fabricator, a race car fabricator. And I talked him out of that. I said, look, no, I won't let you be a fabricator or a mechanic in the team because the hours are endless. They work you into the ground seven days a week. And partly because I experienced it myself. myself. So I talked him out and I said, look, if you want to be anything, become a race car driver. I love racing, obviously, because I just started, I was just born straight into it with Dad. Um, I didn't really have a choice in the matter. We've got a heap of Bathurst books over there and I've been watching Dickie Johnson and all those guys ever since I first started and just have grown up with it. So it's kind of, I suppose it's just in the blood like it is for people who grow up playing footy and, and whatever else and it's just, yeah, it's what I do. Travelling with Luke is, uh... It's awesome. It's it's such a good experience. It's it's so good to be part of uh, part of his career. Uh, but it's nerve wracking. It's stressful. Uh, it's a roller coaster of emotions. But it's yeah, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Winning a race at Bathurst is really the ultimate in Australia, whether you're talking supercars or, or not. You ask a supercar driver, would you prefer to win Bathurst or the championship? That's like the two comparisons. So when you look at that, Bathurst is as big as a whole championship. And I guarantee you there's a lot of drivers out there that would say they'd prefer to have a Bathurst victory than a championship win. So yeah, Bathurst means a lot to, to any driver. And I suppose in the category we're in, the 86 is it's so, so competitive. Uh, at Townsville, I think the top 12 is separated by like four tenths of a second. So, you know, coming into Bathurst, it's gonna be very close. Um, there's, you know, a number of really good drivers that could win there. So for us to even get front of the 86 pack in general is great. Um, but to actually clinch a victory at Bathurst is one of the hardest things ever, because as we know, Bathurst can throw up all of these sort of hurdles that you would never experience in a, in a general race meet. The um, last few years we've been there, we've had to deal with accidents, people running into us, you know, like the, the nature of the circuit at Bathurst is, um, I suppose, pretty intimidating and pretty daunting. So the risk factor at the mountain compared to another circuit is quite high. Uh, you make a mistake coming across the top of the hill and you're pretty much guaranteed to eat the concrete. So uh, that all goes through your mind when, as soon as you drive up that hill, but it's just one of those tracks where the more green flag laps you have, the more excited you get because you get to go around the mountain one more time. So yeah, it's just, it's that place and I suppose, yeah, if we, if we win there, then I'd probably rather win a race at Bathurst than the 86 series as a whole. <laughs> What did you do? Upper? Lower? No, we did all the hits. So we did bag slams, uh, bear crawls, we did rope slams, mm -hmm. rope pulls, all that fun right. stuff. And then we did some legs. Mm. We're gonna do, might do some upper, depends. Are you doing more cardio leading into Bathurst or not? Uh, yeah, 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 I am planning to. Eighty six has been a big thing for us because I think out of everything in motorsport at the moment it makes a lot of sense because the running costs are uh, I suppose yeah like viable for sponsors these days when it's so hard in the market 
and yeah, like you get good bang for buck. The, the category puts heaps of effort into promoting the drivers, you know, we get good on-screen time, Toyota look after us and like that's, that's what you really need coming up for guys like me, Tim, Jake, Cam Crick, like all of them that need the, the promotion because we haven't got the dollars to just go and jump straight into a Super 2. Um, yeah, it's been a big profile booster for us. It's half the reason that we're kind of still in it. Like I probably would have gone over to the UK or something by now to try and find something else. After, like when Formula Ford stopped, the 86 series started up for us. So that was like our next step to try and continue the promotion. So yeah, if that hadn't come up, I don't know what we'd be doing really. So we're out here today at Sydney Motorsport Park. Uh, beautiful day. We're testing pre-Bathurst. So uh, yeah, we've done a fair bit of work to the car in the lead up to the event. And I suppose over the past couple of seasons, we haven't quite had exactly what it takes to, to win there. So, uh, so yeah, today's all about just, you know, getting me in the mindset. We're only sort of less than 14 days out from, from the big race. So uh, yeah, it's all about me getting used to the car um, and how it's currently set up. We're going to have a green tyre run today, which basically means we'll put a brand new set of tyres on it, uh, which we don't often get the chance to do, just because of budget and that sort of thing. So um, so yeah, we'll run this morning on an older set of tyres, um, bed the car in, we've got some new components on the car, which are just standard things that we'd replace, like clutch and brakes and all that sort of thing. So. Just bet all that stuff in, um, get used to the circuit, and then we'll go out and try and set a time um, and sort of simulate qualifying, and uh, hopefully that gets us in the mindset for winning at Bathurst. sector, personal best in the second sector, indicated by that green box. Now Luke, let's look for King in the background. He's not in this little group here. Here he comes in the number two. What's he got from seventh to second? That's a big lap for Luke King.
so um, here we are post qualifying and uh, as you can see behind us things haven't exactly gone to plan. We uh, went out obviously looking for a, a tow um, on that opening lap but we didn't quite get it. Uh, we got two good laps in and that was good enough for fourth spot on the grid and then as we've kind of come out of the dipper the cars have started to, to lose a bit of power and then out of the elbow the whole car's just gone dead on me so as you can see we're here with all the the tape boys at the moment engine's already out it's only what is it 20 to 1 so good job on uh, getting all the main stuff done as you can see gearbox engine on the floor here so Terry's on his way back to the workshop now to grab our engine that we had up in Townsville. So um, yeah, all things going well. It'll be uh, back together before this afternoon so we can um, get it started, have a run around the pit and uh, be ready for the racing tomorrow. So uh, we're pretty lucky to have this awesome TAFE facility here. So I uh, hope they never close this place down because I reckon it's going to thunderstorm this afternoon. and. Uh, the facilities up at the pit area in Bathurst aren't that great, so to have a nice big shed like this and a bunch of guys here to, to help us out is, uh, is awesome. So, uh, yeah, it keeps me clean for the moment anyway, so I can just think about my racing. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it all goes well, and uh, thanks to everyone at Bathurst Tape.